some people have asked me what my hunt team looks like other people have asked me to do a player review so why don't I do both boom right there I have a bunch of ghosts on my team well this is kind of just the progress that I have in my hut team and that man Mike Madano is the star the first piece of the puzzle of my hut team and we're gonna be doing a player review of him so I don't often get the opportunity to play with such high overall cards such as Mike Madano so I put him on my under 1k squad and I just gave him the puck just to see what would happen and this is how he starts things off pretty much a one on three and he's able to hold the puck and kind of get somewhat of a breakaway there and score the goal pretty impressive this shows you guys his amazing puck control his amazing offensive awareness and he was able to get the puck back for this goal this next play is gonna show off Mike Madano's speed he's gonna come into my zone here and I'm gonna steal the puck away from him, give him to Madano and I just burn right through all his people for a breakaway. Keep in mind that all these clips that I have for you guys is just in one game. That's how amazing Mike Madonna has been for my team. With my under 1k squad, I think I would still get some of these opportunities, but it would be very hard to bury them. With Madonna, I felt like he was going to bury them no matter what. Now let's look at a defensive play that Madonna makes. So here I am playing as him, kind of wasn't sure how he was going to get into the zone. He's going to take the puck back here right about now. And I switch to Madonna and I go full speed at this guy and poke check. Of course, I steal the puck away from him, get a breakaway, but I don't bury it. But it was still impressive nevertheless. Then in this play, Madonna is going to show off his blast of a shot coming up right about now boom when i take that shot with like an 84 overall i'm gonna miss the net but with madonna oh i got on my first try it's exciting this guy is a stud and has to be on everyone's teams he's so much of a stud that even the commentators had something to say about him Take a look back at the hat trick. He's been exceptional tonight. Found the open ice, and when he had the puck on his stick, it's not been there very long. He has been spectacular, Ray. So in this play, it's not quite exciting. Haglin makes a nice poke check. Puck is still in the offensive zone, and he just makes a nice pass for a one-timer just to show off his uh, nice passing playmaking ability. So now you guys got to see what he's like, it's time to review him. So for those that are unaware, Mike Madano is one of the cheapest top tier cards that you can get. A 93 overall, 96 skating, 95 shooting, I got him for 125,000 coins. Unfortunately he was much cheaper earlier when everyone was making them out of the uh, face-off collectible sets. So now he's like 150,000 but you could still snag his uh, World Cup of Hockey player of the game card for about that price and his stats would just be one less and he might have different synergies as well. Because of this I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 for affordability. So the two points taken off are his price went up because he's no longer in the sets and the fact that not everyone's going to be able to use him because he is going to be about 150k but he is exceptional for his price. You guys saw his offense with the clips and my rating for his offense is a perfect 10 out of 10. If I threw Madonna in any kind of offensive situation, I have faith that he'll pull through and he'll do exactly what I want him to do. Whether it's dangling, sniping, or playmaking, madonna has got it all. His defensive game is strong, but I don't think it's perfect. His stick checking and discipline definitely make a good case so that he doesn't take as much penalties. And it's very good for, for a team like my own where I don't really throw the body around too much. So on other teams where you expect him to do so might not really work out. So I'm going to give him an 8 there as well on defense. But one thing I do like about his defense is he has very good defensive awareness. So he's able to intercept passes a lot better than uh, most players. One thing I do want you guys to take a look at is his face-off stats. It's an 80. That is not good for a center, at least for a top-tier center. So while he was taking the face-offs for my team, if you guys have better players out there, you gotta take Madonna off the face-off dot. Put him in there as a right wing instead. Finally, the last portion of this review focuses on his synergies. This lovely man has five synergy points for 125k. That's pretty crazy. 
The problem is that two of them are in defensively responsible, which is a player synergy, and you don't really need more than one for a player with a player synergy. So technically he has four, but he does have three points in cycle game, which is a team synergy, and makes up half of the points that you need for that synergy. Because of this, I'm going to give Madano a 9 out of 10 for synergies. That's going to conclude this player review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. this is my first time doing something like this. You guys may probably already know by now that my editing skills aren't all that great. So I'm mostly here to give you guys the content that you need to be more informative about the decisions that you're going to make. I'm going to be making more player reviews on the guys that I'm going to add to my hut squad. But if you guys are looking for anyone in particular, you let me know and I'll see if I can get you a player review for them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.